neighbor plans have to be by nature pro-development but you but they can help us control what that development is where it goes into the countryside how much it encroaches and it also it invites us to use the city centers more in the way of the brownfield air, brownfield sites and things like that so it really emphasizes on what we need but doing it in a sensible way there are two reasons why we've gone to redraft one is climate change and the impact that's going to have on our community. And the second is the loss of wildlife and biodiversity and putting plans in place to protect that and the communities as climate does change. We've had extensive consultation with businesses, communities and, and local residents. And they've, they've told us a variety of things. One, they want a vibrant city centre. They don't want Truro to fail. Um, the second is they want to maintain green spaces, they want space for wildlife, they want to protect their Cornish hedges, and also they want to see good quality build and good quality design of any future developments, because actually we do need housing, and Langarth is a huge opportunity for the younger people in Cornwall to, to set route down here instead of taking flight to find somewhere cheaper to live. If it isn't put in place, then the policies don't mean anything and the Cornwall Council don't need to listen to us. But if it is in place and it's a simple yes or no, if it's more than 50% vote yes to it, it means they have to abide by the policies in the neighbourhood plan. They have to build better buildings. They have to protect the countryside more. They have to look after the Cornish hedges. They have to build Langarf in a way that we want it built, not in the way that developers want to build it. This is your chance to have your say about Truro and Kenwyn. This is your chance to put your mark down and say, yes, we are going to do things better. Yes, we are going to control development. And yes, we are going to have policies that work for people who live here.